Hello there. Last year I put up this fence and I had a load of offcuts left. And when it came to the use what you've got challenge, I thought perhaps I can use these. Now you'll know if you've been watching my series of videos on the use what you've got challenge that I've had some success in turning some off cuts from a fence into a guitar but you haven't seen anything yet come with me so let's get going hello there i'm dave dickens and welcome to my workshop now i've been making a guitar from offcuts from a fence that I put up in the garden last year using the feather edge and the Aris rail. And uh, I've been really pleased with the result. And this guitar has changed as we've uh, developed it. It's the ideas have come along. And the icing on the cake uh, is the artwork that my wife Carolyn has actually done on the guitar because she's a fantastic artist and uh, the theme of the guitar is autumn leaves and she's come up with some brilliant designs which I'm going to show you later but before I do that I need to do a little bit of work on the neck because I haven't dressed the frets yet I haven't put the side dots in and I haven't sprayed the guitar at all with lacquer so I need to do all of those things first so I hope you're going to stick around because at the end of this video I'm going to put it all together and do a demo track Work on the design for the decoration of the guitar started pretty soon after I started the project and that was sort of towards the end of the autumn last year or the fall. 
and I was building a guitar out of parts of a fence and the autumn leaves were falling and it seemed to make sense to somehow fuse those two together. So what I did first off was to trace round the template and give Carolyn a full size outline of the guitar. She then sketched out the design of the decoration on the paper and we were able to just decide how we were going to implement that on the guitar. She wanted to get the 3D texture of the leaves and really bring out the richness of the autumn leaf colours. She also worked on the tail piece of the guitar which is the bent gate hinge and she's made that look rusty. Well I can't keep you hanging on any longer. Here we have the feather edge guitar made from off cuts from a fence. Uh, got Aris rail neck with some feather edge strips in it and uh, a silver birch headstock and veneer. Uh, got feather edge panelling on the front there and all around the edge. It's got this beautiful decoration that uh, Carolyn my wife has painted on. We've got a gate hinge which has been made to look as though it's rusty. An oak leaf cut out of some uh, dark wood that I've got, a vanco I think it's called, and uh, some inlays. I'm absolutely over the moon with this guitar. I've uh, put the electrics in and there's a piezo pickup under the bridge so I'm going to plug it into my iPad and see if I can record a demo track. that's about it for this series of videos uh, but before I go I just want to thank my wife Carolyn for coming up with some amazing designs I love the shape of this guitar and that was one of her designs and I love the decorations the paintings that she's done which really go with the theme of autumn that we decided to run with with this guitar this has been a fantastic challenge and a big thank you to the guys that came up with the Use What You've Got Challenge and that was uh, Steve Walker, Chris Hatton and Chris Franklin. Thank you very much. This has been a fantastic opportunity to do something a bit different. And we've got the Great Guitar Build Off 2021 just about to start so that's going to be really exciting. Please don't forget to watch uh, me on that one. I'm going to do a, uh, a Build From Scratch guitar for that. Please hit subscribe if you like this sort of content and uh, hit the like button and uh, hit the notify button if you want to be notified when I put my next video up. In the meantime, please stay safe and uh, well, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.